Red work, embroidery hand-stitched on white cotton fabric, gets its name from the colorfast thread developed in Turkey more than 200 years ago. I think we can just about picture dish towels and quilts adorned with this embroidery. Today's Nancy's Corner guest, whose quilts were on display at the Quilt Expo in Madison, Wisconsin, pays homage to her past with her amazing handiwork. One of the very traditional types of quilting includes embroidery and Deanna Waltz is my guest who's going to talk to us about red work. And Deanna, red work in quilting has an interesting history. Could you give our viewers a little synopsis of that? Red work started in the 1870s. Before that there was embroidery but the red thread would often bleed. Mm -hmm. So at that time in Turkey they developed the, the uh, floss called Turkey Red and it no longer bled. It was a safe uh to use and that was the, the start of red work embroidery. And that's, it became very popular. Right. And it still has many people using this beautiful embroidery technique. Yes, yes. It's had a resurgence just lately even. You started a few years ago. Yes. <laughs> tell, tell our viewers how you began doing this. Um, when I was about nine years old my mother taught me how to embroider uh -huh. and many of us started on a dish towel with a little sure. piece of fruit embroidered on that and I've been embroidering ever since and I love doing it so most of my quilts have some embroidery them uh, some some place now the quilt behind us is spectacular and it includes many designs embroidery designs from the past yes yes and this um, this pattern is made from a re reproduction of a is a reproduction of an old coverlet um, some people have uh, bought these coverlets, taken the patterns off of them. Uh -huh. And um, I happened to get it secondhand. I've been looking for it for years, but was lucky enough to find it in a quilt shop. And um, it's the only quilt that I've ever kept track of my time on. <laughs> and it took me 487 hours to put the patterns on and do the embroidery. And then um, 57 skeins of floss were used in the quilt. And then you have a friend that helps you do the quilting. Right. My friend Barbara Hochstetler, an Amish friend from north in northern Wisconsin, does most of my hand quilting. It's a spectacular design and I think what's fascinating about it is on the designs include um, portraits of presidents, presidents' wives. Yes, yes. Interesting, interesting motifs. Right. History. History plus maybe there'll be a uh, a crane or an animal depicted, birds, it's, it's... Yeah, I think the peacock is especially, yeah, it, especially It's showy. very flamboyant. Yes, yeah, yes. It is. Now, I couldn't help but notice, but Deanna goes every place with a little embroidery. Yes. Because I embroider it in such a tiny hoop, it's real easy to take it with me, and I take it to the doctor's office, I take it wherever I go, especially in the car, and I get hours of embroidery in. Now, you're using blue work this time. Right. Blue on blue on floss, off-white. Off off-white. And your stitch that you use primarily is? Is a back stitch. Yes. So s uh, tiny little back stitches that are traditionally done. It's hard to do in front of the camera, but boy, beautiful work. Even, even consistency. Thank <laughs> but you. But of course, you've had a little practice. Yes, <laughs> a long time. Not always do you have just a whole cloth. Right, right. Usually, I, that's the only whole cloth I did. Okay. Yes. So here we have some traditional piecing uh, with the churn dash and then a little touch of embroidery. Very sweet. Oh, thank you, thank you, yes. Now, the other quilt that we'd like to showcase is an Amish Christmas. Right, right. Now, tell our viewers about the designs along the perimeter are traditional red work. Right, right. And those patterns um, came uh, together in a, in a package and I did the embroidered blocks and then I asked a friend whose daughter is an artist if she would make the center piece for me and she drew the Amish scene, a Christmas scene, from just looking at those other blocks. So I get patterns from many different places and that happened to be a hand-drawn uh, pattern there. Well, Deanna, your works are works of art and what a treasure. And it's Thank you. good to see such intricate designs, such wonderful execution of an art. So thank you for being an thank you and a quilter. Thank you so much for having me too. You're welcome. 
Thank you for joining us today for the first episode of Beginning Landscape Quilting. If you'd like to rewatch this program or any recent episode, go to nancyzeman.com and watch online. While you're there, sign up for sewing and quilting updates on my blog and join us on Facebook, plus a host of other social media platforms. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.